Alrighty, welcome back everyone. We just talked about a little bit of the spring games that happened on Saturday, some takeaways from there, um, but we will continue that throughout the week because there were so many on Saturday that we need to break down. But let's jump into what happened in Oxford, Mississippi uh, for their spring game, the Grove Bowl games as they called it. Um, as there were you know, very serious scrimmages in games around the country, you had coaches screaming at their team, you had everything going off the walls all over the place. Ole Miss was just kind of hanging out, having a little field day down in Oxford, Mississippi. And uh, honestly, I thought it was really cool. Uh, John Talty over at uh, CBS had an awesome piece about it that I pulled a, a little bit of this from. But it's just, I, it, it's something that uh, I had never seen. Honestly, I thought they were playing a totally normal spring game until I saw some of the clips uh, pop out of them doing tug of war and Joey Chestnut eating 20 hot dogs in 90 seconds and Brandon Turnage throwing down a dunk that is mind-boggling uh the athleticism on that kid is out of this world you had um some competitions that resemble like the pro bowl in the nfl you had the gauntlet uh that is a big time pro bowl thing um they were pushing lane kiffin's father in a golf a golf cart to end that one out by the linemen so there was a lot of fun to be had uh the football part of this was a seven on seven type uh format so not a ton to pull from the football aspect of this but uh it was really interesting it was something that I think all of us were waiting for the next clip to come out on Twitter or whatever and, uh, you know, see what happened next at uh, in Oxford. But um, they asked Lane Kiffin about this and why he kind of went this direction instead of having a typical spring game. And he had a very interesting quote that I kind of uh, I want to read to you all here. He said, really, the value of spring games, in my opinion, is overrated uh, because you don't show many plays on offense or defense. He said most people don't... Uh, Excuse me. Uh, most people don't unless they're trying to win over the fans or win over the TV uh, over the. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. Most people don't unless they are trying to win the fans over or the or TV over with the game. Excuse me. Uh, you really don't get a whole lot of it. So essentially what he's saying is these spring games only tell us so much. We've talked about it a number of times. There's you got to take everything with a grain of salt. You can't necessarily come out of spring game saying this guy is unequivocally the starter because if you're watching the UGA game yesterday and you did that, you might have come out that saying Gunnar Stockton should be QB1, which obviously is not going to happen and obviously is something that shouldn't happen. But it's uh, very interesting to kind of hear it from a coach because to my knowledge, this is the first time that they've said it in that clear of terms and actually taken action um, to do something different. So I kind of um, applaud Lane Kiffin for doing this. I think this is something that a lot of coaches have honestly kicked around the idea of, um, but no one was kind of willing to take that leap, and he finally did, and it really gave off, uh, you remember a field day in uh, grade school when you would split up into a bunch of different teams and you would go at it with some of your buddies. It felt like that. It felt like everyone was out there just having a good time, enjoying the day, doing the things that, you know, you don't get to do all that often with the amount of rigor, the amount of intensity that is put on you every single day. There's not necessarily this, uh, all these chances to unleash all that stress and kind of enjoy the day and just um, forget about football for a second. And I think that's what Lane Kiffin gave them. And I think there's a lot of things that go into this. There's a lot of different reasons why I think this is an awesome idea. But I'll start with kind of the most uh, glaring one is you likely come out with everyone healthy, which is the biggest thing in the world. Obviously, when Brandon Turnage was up doing a, I think he did a windmill reverse dunk uh, <laughs> during that dunk contest, I'm sure Lane Kiffin was holding his breath just a little bit, but at the end of the day, um, everyone came out healthy, everyone came out you know, having a good time with his friends, and it likely really helped that locker room. I think that's something that kind of gets lost in all of this is these coaches every single year they are working to keep that roster intact they are working to make sure that no one is poached that no one is taken from some other teams and Lane Kiffin is doing everything in his ability to create an atmosphere that kids just want to be in whether it's them playing or whether it's them sitting on the bench creating this atmosphere where they show up to the facilities and feel like they're at home they feel like they're around buddies they feel like you know everything is very comfortable there it's huge. Uh, it's something that might get kind of overlooked in this, you know, new era of college football where you have to worry about a million different things. But 
doing all of this, you know, chaotic, goofy type spring game stuff, doing all these things that people don't normally do, I think gives him a leg up in a number of different ways. And one of the things that um, John Talty broke down here that I thought was really interesting that honestly I hadn't thought about in all of this is the transfer portal is opening tomorrow. We just talked about that. And as of right now, I think you'd be hard pressed to find an Ole Miss football player that is unhappy about how uh, Saturday went, is unhappy with the situation that they're in, is unhappy being at Ole Miss. So that's a huge part of this. Um, you didn't have to put out a depth chart. You didn't have to have, you know, real guys getting run over by someone else and saying, maybe I'm not supposed to be on this team. You didn't have um, very, you, you didn't have players getting an idea of where they sit in all of this. And, you know, some of that is maybe, you know, not the best thing for the player in the vein of some of these players could find another place to play. But at the end of the day, it's all about just these players being happy. And if they're, you know, in a position where they're really into the team, they love their teammates, they're happy that they're at the place that they're at, I think that's a huge plus. And I think one of the things we get caught up with in spring ball and these spring games in particular is you want to see a lot. You want to see something. You want to see something that will help you on Saturdays or will at least, you know, lend itself to Saturdays. But for the most part, spring games don't necessarily do that all that often just because of the limited playbook like Lane Kiffin was talking about or just the rotations and, and things like that. It just It's not necessarily a normal uh, game day, so it doesn't necessarily help you too much on Saturdays regardless. But I know for a fact that what Lane Kiffin did this weekend, what Ole Miss did this weekend, will help them every single other day. I, I think there's no question in my mind that all of this stuff is, it's not about Saturdays in the fall. It's about Mondays through Fridays. It's about, you know, keeping these guys connected. It's about Jackson Dart, you know, being able to hit up the wide receivers throughout this time when they're not around the team and get together to run routes and, and go through drills and do that type of thing. This is a huge step to doing that. Um, I think we all know that these months in between spring practice and fall camp are super important for a team to be successful and especially a team like Ole Miss with so many transfer portal kids coming in it's going to be even more important and uh, now Lane Kiffin has given them a moment that they're all together that they're all pulling in the same direction and it's huge I, I think it's something that a lot more people will follow suit in um, Lane Kiffin is very much hoping they won't it sounds like he definitely wants to see other teams play in spring, wants to be able to scout them, but doesn't want teams to be able to scout him. So it'll be really interesting to see if other people follow suit. I love this idea. I think it's something that you take a day that could be really serious and intense and a little bit nerve-wracking for kids, and you make it really fun, and you give these kids, you know, uh, a little bit of a release from all of the intense you know, things that they're going through on a daily basis, and you let them go out there and have fun for a day and then you, you know, reconvene and talk football at another time. Um, so I think this is something that Lane and uh, Ole Miss have always been different, uh, but I really love this path that they're going down. I think this is something that could be good for them. I think it could be good for college football and um, could definitely give Ole Miss a little bit of a leg up on some other teams in terms of just being one, being together at all times, being uh, pulling in the same direction, knowing what the other guys are about. And I think that's something that... Uh, can be huge in this day of college football. So it'll be really interesting to see if others follow suit. I love this idea. I think others will follow suit. But for the time being, Ole Miss is uh, doing something unique, and you got to love to see it. So um, that's really cool. Definitely will keep my eye out on uh, anyone else following suit on that in the coming years. But um, for the time being, we're going to take our last break. And when we come back, we're going to get to a Good Vibes Monday. And today we're going to talk about college football 25 it feels like we're getting closer and closer to a actual release of this uh, game and very very excited so we will break that down right after this so stick with us 